that's wind. I didn't plan on making this video, but look at the trees. Look at this shit. Blowing a non-stop gust. I'm looking for some nice, quality, smooth footage. If you can even hear me over the wind right now. Look at these trees. And this building's black. So there's two things I'm looking for. Battery life and wind tolerance. I've got the high capacity 47 minute wind batteries in there. I'm up in the air already. Oh yeah. I got the microphone on now so the wind shouldn't bother that much. Now I'm gonna push forward on this stick. Let's see what we get. This is real world, not just flying in heavy wind, but flying in heavy wind and getting shots that's actually usable. Like, is this thing usable? I'm getting 23 miles an hour going forward. That's not bad. And I'm in normal mode. I don't even have to switch to sports mode. See that, Jeff? Look what I'm getting. 23 miles an hour. But that's also because I'm only 48 feet, which means I'm close to the, close to the water. If I go up, then that's different. Now I'm up, up and away. Look, 100 feet. 120 feet now the wind 128 feet now the wind is battling me look i push full forward on the stick and i'm getting 14 15 miles an hour 19 miles an hour okay it's fighting but it's picking up Oh my gosh oh my gosh the quality on this camera I really think I'm gonna be taking I'm gonna be keeping this drone oh wow pulling back pulling back and going out oh man what a beautiful shot man the night footage on this camera is insane almost as good as Nortel. look even if you could say almost as good as Nortel, it's much lighter it's much portable it's much cheaper and if you can edit you can make this shit look just as good as an Autel or even better depending on your skills. I'm not gonna lie, this camera is crispy clean! That footage, bro. That's cute. That's almost it's as good cute. As <laughs> he says it's cute. It's the Artillians, guys. I'm the only DJI flyer here. There's, uh, there's low. Look, I'll show you. This is Wayne. Wayne, what are you flying? Let me Fly show you. Something large enough to knock you out of the sky. Knock you out of the sky, large. Yeah, big is better, huh? Well, this little thing, this tiny little thing, maybe little, but it's up there. And it's chilling, size matters, okay. Oh look, Jeff's got his Autel out there, and then Step, he's hiding. He's got an Autel no, too. He, he went to so, get, he went to get something from the car. It's me against the Autillions, guys. I don't know what to tell you, okay? I'm out here trying to rep, okay? DJI fanboys, I'm trying to rep you out here, okay? Oh, sit down. <laughs> They're bullying me now, okay? They're hating because I got this little thing that's up there, 71%. Yeah. I've been flying it since then. I still got 30 minutes left, boy. I should do a hyperlapse and put them to sleep. Let me tell you something. When you can get good footage at night with a drone, I'm sold. Because I love to fly at night. And I already see this thing is going to produce some wicked, wicked night footage. Now, I've been up here for a while and talking to you guys and I still got 60% battery. This is sweet. This is sweet. Damn, the battery life is great on this little thing. I'll show you the uh, the battery life when I'm getting ready to land. But I'm just gonna chill out here, hang the battery down to about, I don't know, 20 or 15%. Oh my gosh. Guys, I just got, you saw it, 31 minutes in this heavy wind. I got 31 minutes. 
31 minutes, guys. And now the place is fully dark. Look at that sky. I'm going up back and see what the total, that was low light footage. Now you're going to see night footage. Then when I'm done, we're going to head back to the studio. Let's talk about this Mini 3. We got to talk about this. Good, I'm back home at the studio and definitely a few key things worth mentioning. First of all, as you can see, this footage is fire. The image coming out of this camera for such a small drone at night is ridiculous. That f1.7 aperture really helps to let a lot of light in. And even though it's not a one inch sensor, it's almost as big as a one inch sensor. And then you have DJI doing this, um, not exactly dual native ISO, but a two pass on the footage cleaning up the footage before it actually uh, stores it to the SD card. So whatever they're doing, whatever magic they're working, it looks damn good. One thing that I did notice, this wasn't even a waypoint hyperlapse. It, I just locked the course on cruise control and let the drone go. And you'll notice if you watch the footage that right about here somewhere, it shifts, look. Boom, it did a shift there. Now, I didn't do that. I didn't tell the drone to do that. It was supposed to be flying a straight line. At first, I thought it was the wind. So I was like, okay, maybe high winds. You shouldn't be doing hyperlapses anyway. This looks damn good for, for a hyperlapse in high wind. But now come to find out that every single hyperlapse that I'm doing, I'm actually having this problem. Whether it's waypoint hyperlapses, uh, course lock hyperlapses, doesn't matter. All my hyperlapses are shifting off at some point. I don't believe it's the drone. I do believe it's the gimbal. It needs some optimization. I'm not getting this problem when I'm filming at all, right? Sometimes when I'm doing a top down, sometimes the gimbal will shift, but it's just a top down shot and maybe, you know, wind's getting in there. But apart from that, just filming normal scenery, not looking top down, bird's eye, I haven't had any issues with the gimbal or the drone not doing what it's supposed to do. So yeah, I hope uh, DJI optimizes, which I'm sure they will, the hyperlapse features on this and gets the camera to be a little bit more stable and reliable so I can use this as my main hyperlapse drone just because of that insane battery life. The Air 2S does have a little better camera but it does not have the battery life and I'm willing to trade off a better camera for the battery life just to get more out of my hyperlapses. More on that coming. Make sure you hit subscribe. Keep it locked right here because I'm putting out an Air 2S and Mini 3 hyperlapse video so you can kind of see for yourself the results that I'm getting. But yeah, I can't complain at all. <laughs> I'm actually really impressed and not just impressed overall. Obviously, I've seen better footage, but for the price or the everything that you're getting in this bundle, man. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. DJI, I said it once, I'll say it again. They knocked it out the park this time. All right, that's all I got for you guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Keep it locked right here for more. My LUTs are coming soon, as you can see. I'm working on them, still tweaking them, optimizing them, coming out with some more LUTs. So keep it locked right here. Make sure you give me a huge thumbs up. Make sure you like this video. Make sure you hit subscribe and hit the bell so you get notified when I do drop more Mini 3 and drone videos in general. With that being said, guys, well, I'll catch you whenever I can. Make sure you become a Patreon, guys. Big benefits to Patreon. Get direct access to me. Any questions, I'm right here on Patreon. Support this channel and there's benefits. Last Mini 2 went all the way to the UK. Oh.